Some changes could be coming to downtown Idaho Falls that could affect future traffic. It is the proposed removal of two traffic lights. Our Kaylee Galavis is live in downtown Idaho Falls right now to tell us why the potential decision is so controversial to move these two lights. Kaylee. Well, Todd, the city council just wrapped up talks about the possibility of removing two traffic lights in downtown Idaho Falls. Most of the public concern, though, lies right here with the tra on the intersection of Yellowstone Avenue and Cliff Street. The other light that could be removed is on the intersection of E Street and Park Avenue. Last month, the city asked for public comment. Of 60 responses, 45 expressed no opinion on the E Street and Park Avenue light. But 51 were against the plan to remove the light at Yellowstone and Cliff Street. One person saying, quote, I'm a cyclist who rides quite often around town. The only safe way to get across Yellowstone was to use the Cliff Street traffic light. Another saying, quote, in favor to remove both signals to help the flow of traffic on the crossroad of Yellowstone and Park. Here's how the discussion went today. People did a good job of articulating you know, reasons why they thought this should stay. Um, we came to the realization that you know, traffic volumes or not, this is a signal that, that a lot of people think is a very important thing to, to have here in the community. I would move that council uh, allow Public Works to remove the signal at E and Park Avenue. Sir. Okay, we have a motion. We have a second, Corinne, from Councilor Radford. Could you call a roll call? Holly? Yes. Francis? Aye. Radford? Aye. Freeman? Yes. Motion carried. Public Works says the removal of the traffic light will happen fairly quickly, possibly by the end of this year. Reporting in downtown Idaho Falls, I'm Kaylee Galavis.